last night on TV? That was now to come for sure. What's the verdict, Teddy? Is he really in there? I do smell someone. It's just like before. Nothing's changed. Like before. Of course! That's why no token appeared on the news so suddenly. He said something didn't seem right and that he wasn't convinced. He also believed that the people who are kidnapped appear on TV first, remember? Wait, you're saying he's using himself as bait? We came to the same conclusion he did about how people who become famous through TV would disappear. Could he be trying to prove the theory by using himself? You mean he got kidnapped on purpose? That's crazy! He could be killed! He said, this is not a game for me either. It's all my fault. I'm the one that said that to him. Idiot! Why the hell did he just tell us? He knew we'd stop him if he did. Instead, he left us clues so we could figure it out and... I know! That son of a... But, but what about the killer the police are holding now? Mitsuo did kill King Moron, right? I get it now. I remember Nautoken mentioning this. He said it was strange that the police were able to identify the cause of Mr. Moraoka's death. Then is King Moron the only one Mitsuo killed? That'd explain why there were no signs of King Moron being thrown into the TV. The killer didn't change his methods for King Moron. It just seemed that way because it was done by someone else. Then whoever kidnapped Naoto-kun, that's the real killer? But, but wait a sec. Didn't Mitsuo say he was the one behind it all? Why would he take the blame for someone else's crime? Isn't that weird? And they said on the news that the culprit confessed to the other murders too. There's also something else that's been bothering me, but... Um... To hell with someone who's behind bars! If we don't get off our asses, that stupid Naoto's gonna die in there! We gotta go find him! Someone's definitely in here, and the world seems to have grown larger. That's amazing, Risi-chan. There's no way my nose can pick up that much. Shall I give you a massage? Don't bother her. It's the same as last time. I know he's here, but I can't tell where. I need something that'll help me understand him. I need some clues. Without that, I have no idea which way we should look. Damn it! There's too much we don't know about that kid. But if we don't do something, he's gonna... Hey, snap out of it! This is just like all the other times. Let's not panic, keep an eye on the weather, and do this like always. We'll save him no problem. First, we need to look for something that'll help us locate him. I, I know. I, I wasn't panicking. We know he's over here. So all we gotta do is get him out. I'm sorry I couldn't find him. All I need is some kind of hint to help me understand him better. Then I could find him for sure!
You're home!
Sensei, I'm all ready to go. Yeah, let's go. Did you find out more about Naoto-kun? I see. So he's being stubborn about the case. But it seems like it's rare for Naoto-kun to get so worked up over something. Okay, I've got a good feel for him. I think I can do this. It won't take long for me to find him with my persona, so be ready to follow me once I do. Is this place? It's all sci-fi. Hey, doesn't it remind you of those secret hideouts in live action shows? Oh yeah. <laughs> I used to watch Featherman all the time when I was a kid. I hear that those are really tough shoots. A lot of the actors do their own stunts, like jumping through fire themselves. Well, it's every man's dream to do that stuff. Yeah, I can understand that. They're action-based, like kung fu movies. And just the phrase secret hideout has this exciting ring to it! Actually, when I was a kid, I had my own secret place near the mountain by Yukiko's house. I'd pretend that a legendary kung fu master was teaching me special techniques! Hwata! You got it all wrong. But hey, so this secret hideout thing, it came from Naoto's mind? I guess our proper boy detective isn't as grown up as he looks. All right, let's get going. Welcome home, big bro. 